one of the most cumbersome and yet most important tasks that you can do in detail to edit is name the spaces. Now this is cumbersome enough just to name the spaces but you have to remember that you also need to name all of the plenums and along with the plenums after you get done with that you also need to name all of the zones and of course they correspond with each other so the entering of the names is sort of redundant in fact it's entirely redundant. I'd encourage you to use a tool at energymodels.com that's free to the general public. Basically you enter the space names and not the plenums and not the zones and then you run this through this online tool from the .imp file and it gives you a .imp file where the plenums and the zone names are based off of the space names. But let's go ahead and look at how we would go ahead and enter these space names themselves. A common way is to have the building drawings in front of you and look at the 2D view, select properties, look at your drawings and rename that from here. As I go through that I would cross off the room on my paper copy with a highlighter to indicate that I've already accounted for it so that I could